Hi, here I am. I have a bunch of stuff that I just got at Goodwill. I resell it on eBay and Poshmark. Not everything I get is the best thing in the world to get. I don't know. I try my best. I, you know, so I'm going to show you guys what I got. I'll tell you all how much I paid for it, how much I think that I might be able to get for it. And yeah, so we'll do that. Does that sound cool? Okay, so I went two separate days this weekend. I went Saturdays. Our green tags were 99 cent. That's such a good deal. It's only on clothes and linens, but that's okay. That's only the 99 cent. The 50% off is on everything except for their new items, but I'm going to show you what I got. So I'll go first on the 50% stuff that I got. I didn't get a lot because I was being picky and I only got what I thought was good. So uh, the first thing I got is these bear paws. Uh, they're like Uggs. They're a little bit a little bit less I guess but you can still sell them these are in really good condition they're a pretty blue color so I was like yeah I'll get it they do need a little bit of cleaning here but it's okay I'm sorry that my camera has such a bad quality I couldn't find my good one I don't know my husband did something with it but I'll find it so I got those bear paws those are cool I think I can sell those for like 20 30 bucks which is not as much as Uggs but it's still pretty good so I'm not going to complain. And then I also got another pair of boots. These, they're super cool. These are bogs. These are little girls ones. They definitely need some cleaning, but they're cool. They're waterproof boots. Um, they're a little bit scuffed up, but I can sell these for 30 to 40 bucks probably. It'd be pretty good. I'm sorry. That's my, I have kids and they're like, running wild in the other part of my house. I don't know. That's what I got. I can't tell you nothing else. Okay. So I also got these. Um, I've never got Halston shoes before. I have got like other Halston items, like clothing, like office, women's office clothes pretty much. But um, they're really nice. So I got those. I can, I did not look up the comps on those, but I know Halston's is a good brand. So I just picked them up anyway, because our store had them marked really cheap, $1.99. And what can you do? You know, if I could sell them for 20 bucks, that's good enough for me. Okay. The next thing I got, hey, can uh, y'all can hear me? Yeah. If you can't hear me, say something. Oh my goodness. That's a crying baby. If you can't hear me, let me know. Okay. Anyway, so the thing I got, let's see. I got this. It is a BCBG leather tote. It's gray and black on the inside. It's really nice. They had it for $7.99. I paid 4 bucks for it. I could probably sell it for $20. It has some marks on the bottom where like they put it on like it's like white paint or something. It should come off with some saddle soap. It shouldn't be a bill. But yeah, so I got that. I got that for $3.99. Then I got this. I had actually never heard of this brand whenever I picked it up. But I picked it up anyway. So it's a uh, Carl Lagerfeld. I didn't find any comps on this exact purse, but it's a nice purse. It's cool. You know, it's, it was, I could feel the quality. So, and I could smell it. It's very, very clean. It's a nice purse. I just stuck my head in it and smelled it. Yep. Anyway, so I think I can sell this one for like 40 bucks. It's got a little mark right here, but it's like just surface dirt so it'll come right off so I got that and this one uh where's the ticket oh she threw it away I think I paid uh $2.99 for this one because it was a uh, born or BOC stuff I can always sell for like 20 bucks so these are $3.99 again so I paid two dollars for them two dollars to make 20 bucks that's pretty good I think and plus shipping like hard shipping on all of my items because 
it's just transparency. I don't know. Like whenever I used to do things for free shipping, but then whenever you do free returns, you on eBay, especially I only do returns on eBay. Right. So on eBay, when you do free returns, um, you refund just the price of the item. You don't refund the shipping unless it's like a, something that's your fault. So whenever I list my items, I like to charge shipping. I weigh everything and put it on there because I don't want to be out that shipping. And I understand, you know, some people, they, they offer the free shipping and the free returns, which is cool. But for me, I'm a, I'm really a smaller business. I'm only doing it myself. I have five kids. I have limited time. So whenever I'm listing things and then they get returned, like I would like to be able to not lose the money on the return. Maybe future I'll take it off when I start listing more items every day and I just have more. Like I have a pretty big store already, but I don't know. I'll talk about that later. So let's see what else I got. Oh, for the first time ever, I, for the first time ever, I found some fry. Look at these. They're super cute. They're like little slides. These are super popular style right now. They are a little bit dirty, although they like they weren't warm that much they're pretty dirty like they must have worn these out in the rain and been like you can see right there yeah i can totally get that off with um some saddle soap or with some suede cleaner i'll try the easiest ways first and then work my way up to the harder stuff but for sure i'm excited to have found some fry shoes not only that they have these marked for 3.99 so on 50% off, I got these fresh. I think there might be some more under there, but we'll find them. The last pair of shoes I grabbed was these real soft suede um, Baker Goodwill. We just got in our newspaper, there was just an article about how we're getting a cool outlet. You guys, I am so excited. I seriously drive four hours from Corpus Christi, Texas, Austin, Texas, sometimes San Antonio, but Austin to the Goodwill outlet there. I frequently drive there just to the Goodwill outlet. There's so much, it's so much better prices, so much good stuff. That's what I do. And we're getting one and it's going to be like, seriously, five minutes down the street for me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. They are closing the Goodwill store that's close to my house to open this one. But let me tell you, I will give up a good store that has regular prices any day. You could close all the Goodwill stores here and I will go to the bins. <laughs> that's my, I love to dig. Oh, I love digging and I love finding things. And it's so exciting especially if it's something that you know like so many people have passed over and they just did not even realize that there is that piece of gold just sitting there waiting yeah it made me i'm super stoked about it i'm a nerd but that's okay so yeah two dollar bakers suede loafers okay oh bonus when i got those bogs boots the waterproof kids boots there was inside, shoved all the way down to the very bottom, this uh, Mountain Hardware. You can see the little, the little bolt right there. Mountain Hardware beanie. So Mountain Hardware beanie for free with bogs. I wish that was like a normal thing, but it's not. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. That's so how I got something for free. Okay, so now I'll start showing you guys the stuff that I got at Goodwill. On Sunday for 99 cents for the green tag, there is two things that I got that were regular price that still weren't that expensive, but I'll show those to you also. So this is the first thing I got. Um, it's a Calvin Klein Merino wool. It's like a burgundy color. It's a turtleneck. It's men's. It's pretty big. See, it's an extra large, so that's good. And I got it for 99 cents. I thoroughly check sweaters for holes and other things because you never know what's going to be in there. You never know. So 
like there's models like i have so many cashmere sweaters that i'm like waiting to repair until i figure out exactly how i want to do them <laughs> some people sell cashmere with holes in lots by the pound but i don't find that much cashmere i live in south texas we don't need to keep warm that much here so i don't have a lot of cashmere but the ones i have found most of them have holes in them <laughs> so I will be repairing them and then I will sell them. I do. I like to do mending. I like to mend the things that I find that are damaged, especially if they're really good quality things. Um, why not? Why not? Who, or, you know, if it's a big stain, like why not just cover it, make them cute, make them unique. And then someone else can get them, keep them out of the landfill. That's my, that's what I think. Okay. Here's the next thing I got. Lucky brand, long sleeve button down gray. Like it has this cute little floral stitching in it. Snap buttons. It's a size large. And guess what? I got it for 99 cents because there's a green tag. So cheap. <laughs> I'm a nerd. I'm sorry. Okay. The next thing I got was this loft dress it's navy blue it's kind of a textured fabric it's what is this called it's got a gathered waist the scalloped neckline it's cute and it's a size eight the bigger you know loft a lot of people don't pick up loft i pick up loft because i sell loft i sell a lot of lofts it might be you know only 12 bucks or 15 bucks or you know, more for things with that are new with tags, but mm -hmm. the area that I live in, we don't, I don't see a lot, a lot of higher end stuff like soft surroundings, J. Jill, um, you know, citizens of humanity, free people. Those things are on a shorter supply than some of the other things. So whenever I go on 99 cent day, if there's a a nice loft dress or a pair of loft shorts and they're in good condition, especially if they're bigger sizes, I for sure pick them up because, you know, making 15 bucks is more than making nothing. And if I didn't pick up some of those lower, lower reselling cost, uh, bread and butter, whatever you want to call them items, then I wouldn't have the income that I have. I'm, I'm not saying I have a huge income at this point, but you know, I have more than zero. That's for sure. So I do pick these up. This one, it does need, it has some fuzzies in the armpits. It has a little bit of deodorant. Nothing that can't be cleaned out and fuzzy eatered off. I don't know what those things are called. A shaver, a fabric shaver. It could be fabric shaved off. <laughs> okay, next. Oh, look, this is a cool one. It is a Torrid size is this toward does vanity sizes this is a size one so it's like equivalent to a size one x it's really cute it's got the I'm pretty sure these are called dolman sleeve it doesn't have a seam to the sleeve it's all one whole piece um and it's kind of i don't know if this is a i think it's a long shirt like wear it with leggings you know it's real cute though size one it's pretty no snags little snags just stick a needle through and put the snag through the eye of the needle and pull it inside to the side of the fabric and it won't leave a hole like cutting the thread will and it's really practically invisible sometimes uh you can kind of stretch it move it from side to side and it'll pull back in that doesn't really work so much printed fabrics only because when it's printed if the thread has a different color in a spot and it doesn't move all the way back to exactly where it was, then you're still going to be able to see that discoloration in that one thread line. And a lot of the time, if you just show it, people don't really mind that much. But at the same time, it really honestly depends on the print of the fabric because some things are more obvious than others just because of color. But this is solid black, so it's in here. But... I'm going to be honest, there's not a lot of high-end stuff in there. There's not a lot. There's not. So when I do find it, I always pick it up. Okay, 
The next thing I got, oop, some J. Jill Pont Point. No, it doesn't have an I. It's just P O N T E. Anyway, they're cropped. They look loose fitting. They're size 16. Very soft fabric. It's very nice. I like it. They don't, they're too big for me, but someone will love them. A Jill makes quality stuff. So I got them. Okay, I got these Jessica Simpson gray pull on jeggings. Got the elastic waistband. Um, they are kiss me pull on leggings. That's what they are. I was pretty close. I was pretty close. Spot on. They're size small. Um, I get Jessica Simpson pants. I don't get Jessica Simpson tops because I have before and they don't sell. I don't get Jessica Simpson dresses anymore because I have before because I think they're super cute, but they don't sell. Not for me. They might sell too. Maybe I just get the wrong styles, but leggings, skinny jeans for sure. They will sell and they'll sell fast. So I buy them for 99 cents. Okie dokie. What next? What next? Oh, this is one of the things that I did pay full price for. Um, mostly because I initially got it for my husband. And then after that, realized he is a size small and this is a size large. But it's still a cool shirt. It's a little pearl snap. Well, it's not pearl snap. It's just snap. There's a short sleeve button down. It's by Guess. Let's see. Is my camera good enough? Yeah, it's it's a bummer. I need to find the other one. Anyway, it's size large. It's, gray. it's got some black piping on it. It's pretty cool. It's a nice it's a nice shirt. No stains, you know. So it's nice. I did pay four twenty nine for it, so I probably won't make that much money on it. It is guess, but <clears throat> what can you do? Okay, next, next, next. There is a child trying to get in. Oh, no. No. No, I'm kidding. He is, but. All right. Next, I got this is a Cremue blouse. It's nice. It has black edging. And it's a size large. And I got this for 99 cents. It's got the zipper on the back. That makes it real cute. Ugh. Ugh. My baby. Rolling, baby. Go over there. I'm almost done. This, I actually got this for myself. It's, I shouldn't have put it in this pile, but it's just a Forever 21 little spaghetti strap skater dress. It's got the circle skirt. It's fun. I like it. That's for me. I'll put that over there. The next thing I got is this. Super cool. I actually watched this in the store for like three weeks. I was like, man, if that was 99 cents, I'd get it. If that was 99 cents, I'd get it. Guess what? It was 99 cents. I know you all know who that is. That is Loki. This is a Marvel special edition uh, dress. It's got Loki. It's a halter. It's super cute. I like it. It'll sell. I don't know how much for, but it will for sure sell because I'm a nerd. I know there's other nerds out there. So, do nerdy things together, I guess. Anyway, let's see what else we have. <clears throat> this is an 89th in Madison. I've never heard of this brand, but it was new with tag. It seems nice. It's a pretty blue sweater. It's got some cable knitting at the neckline and on the sides of the arms it's long sleeve v-neck and it's a size large it's cute it'll probably do good it says the msrp is 64 dollars, so can't be that bad i have been selling a ton of not a ton i've sold a couple recently david's bridal this one i have I actually sold one this exact color. It was just a different size, I believe. The one I sold was like a size 14. And this one's a size 18. It'd be funny if they're from the same wedding. They might be. You never know. But maybe I'll sell this one too. And the last one I sold, I think I sold it for like... It, mm, it might have been only like 15 bucks. But 
I got it for 99 cents. So here is another Halston item. This is a Halston top. I thought I saw a stain on it just now, but it's not. It's just the way it's colored. It's cute. It has this uh, one shoulder kind of strappy thing. It has a side zip. And it's a size extra small. It's, that's weird. I'm an extra small. This looks pretty big. So their sizes must run a little bit big. But it's still real cute. I got it for 99 cents. So I'm happy. Let's see what else I got. Oh, this I got for me. It's a cute tank with some embroidery. And it's just American Eagle. I really like embroidery, though. I like doing embroidery. Nice. Anyhow, this is a cow neck Chico's sweater. It's a tan color. It's very nice. It doesn't have very very much pilling on it, so it's not worn that much. And it's also in vanity sizes, a size 3, if I remember right. Uh, I think that's a 14 to 16. And she goes, I probably don't remember right, but it's something around there. I know that. The size 1 is like 6 and 8. Size 2 is like 10 and 12, I think. I don't know. I always check the chart because I never remember. Anyhow, we got this is the next thing I got. It's a Soma, like, little nightgown or night shirt. I think it's a nightgown. It looks like a dress. Anyway, Soma always does incredibly well for me. Never sits for more than a couple weeks, maybe. So, I love picking up Soma. Oh, here's, I got this. This is a... Uh, just an NBA shirt, New Orleans Pelicans. It was in really good condition, barely worn. So I was like, well, I need to get more men's stuff. I'm trying to learn more about men's stuff. And it's not going great for me so far, but I'm working on it. Okay, here's another one I got that was a men's shirt. I think this is the uh, soccer. And it's an Adidas, which leads me further to believe that it's soccer because Adidas does a lot of soccer stuff. So I think that's a soccer thing, soccer shirt. And uh, soccer's really is going right now. So people are into it. They want shirts and stuff for their teams or whatever. So, well, I'll put it up there. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, then I'll probably just leave it until it might. I don't know. That seems, that's my method at this point is just to list it and leave it. I go back and I'll check comps on them every once in a while and stuff like that. Try to change it. Try to make it work right. What is that? There must have been a car driving by. That looked crazy. <laughs> anyway, hey, this is the next thing I got. Silence and noise blouse. It's got a little sheer panel on the bottom and blue. I don't even know what to call that. It's like a uh, Blue and green print, whatever. This one is, oh, it's a size large. Gorgeous. No, I don't know. It's a J. Jill corduroy button down. <clears throat> it's not real thick. It's kind of thin. It's got a fine, a fine corduroy. It's nice. I like it. It's a size large, and I got it for 99 cents. 99 cents single men's uh, blazer or sport jacket. Like I said, I don't know nothing about men's stuff. So here I am buying some random one. This is the only one that did not seem damaged that I saw. That was 99 cents. It's a Jeffrey Banks. I looked it up. Um, I can maybe sell it for like 20 bucks, I think. It is wool. It's a percent wool. So hopefully I'm going to do some more research, learn a little bit more about uh, jackets and blazers and sports coats and all that stuff for men and see if I can sell this. Yeah. Massimo leather jacket. I was not even aware that Massimo was putting out leather jackets. So I think this might be an older item. Um, I'm not really worried about it being old just because it's leather. It's a leather jacket. 
they had it marked for $34.99. What a surprise. No one bought it. Who's going to go to Goodwill and spend $35 on a leather jacket at Goodwill? I mean, maybe someone is possible. There might be some people out there, but I don't know. I'm going to condition, clean this, condition it. It looks all right. Some spots look dry and worn, like around the cuff of the sleeve, but it'll be okay. If anything, I have a new leather jacket. <laughs> it's whatever. All right, here is another item that I paid full price for, this super cute free people dress. Oh, my gosh. It's like they got to get in. It's got lace on the bottom. It's really pretty. You got some white flowers, some blue flowers. It's a size extra small, so you guys know on Instagram, I will be wearing this at some point. <laughs> That's what I do. It's way better. It's way better to just uh, try some stuff on for a day, wear it for a day, and be like, well... It's pretty, but I'm going to sell it. <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do. Okay, let's move on to some of these pants. These are just some Dockers. I actually got these for my husband. There's a few pairs in here that I got for my husband. I'm not going to lie. But those ones, uh, these, he may not these. They're, there might be just a size too big. They're Kenneth Cole. Uh, some dress pants, my husband's might be looking for a job or something at some point so he needs some pants to fit him because we both just lost a ton of weight yeah not a ton not 2,000 pounds I lost about 70 pounds in the past year and my husband has lost let's see I know math <laughs> like 65 65 to 70 pounds in the past year also so my husband and I together have lost about 140 pounds in the past year air five that's right now uh we are doing jujitsu now and running and eating healthier i however have been slacking oops it's the snacks they call to me now i have to stop but we're doing good we're losing weight we're getting we're being healthy people <laughs> Okay, so this is another pair on the bias. I don't know about the reselling value of these, but they're pretty cool. My husband likes likes them. He put them on and said, yeah, I'll keep those. I said, okay. So for 99 cents, I have clothed my husband. Okay, this is another pair of only 99 cents each. That's a pretty good deal. I would much rather pay 99 cents for a pair of pants than, you know, be 60, 70 bucks in a regular store, especially if we don't know how long we're going to be skinny. Maybe we get fat again. Maybe we're going to get super buff and we're just not going to fit in this stuff anymore. We're going to be so amazingly sex that you know, we're not even going to need clothes. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Next. Next are these cut, cut from the, from, cut from the cloth, right? That's what it is. Pretty sure. Cut from the cloth. Ah. But these are some, so new with tag. Let's see. Oh, this, uh, contentious was, is the color. It doesn't really make any sense though. So change your cut, change your world, a cut above the rest, cut from cloth. Yeah, new with tags for 99 cents. These are from Dillard's. This tag, tag says Dillard's on it. So it's pretty cool. They're new. I'll sell them. What else do we have here? Um, yeah, that's what I do. But these are cute. Straight cut. I don't like, I've, I've stopped picking up boot cut because boot cut, not a lot of people are wearing boot cut right now. Not a lot of people are buying, not a lot of people are buying. I'm not going to say I haven't sold any boot cut jeans recently, but I will say that I've sold a lot more any cut jeans 
and slim cut and straight cut. So I'm kind of veering away from the boot cut pants and sticking with the skinny jeans. Okay, here's another pair. These are Citizens of Humanity. So look how fancy the, the inside of this is. That's crazy. Anyway, so Citizens of Humanity, Flair. Some, I think Flair might be coming back soon because we're in the 90s. I wore Flair jeans in the 90s. <laughs> Okay, here's another men's. This is a Daniel Cremieux. It's just a brown long sleeve polo. It's in good condition and top. And guess what? It was 99 cents. So even though it's American Eagle, American Eagle does do pretty well for me with jeans, um, bikinis. It is bikini time. It is hot as heck outside. I'm in South Texas, y'all. It's like our high temperature was 99 the other day, like legit high temperature. That's not even the uh, heat index. We're like, it's okay. All right, I got this. It's a 2XL Tommy short sleeve gown. Tommy's super fun right now. So this one's, I got these Magellan women's um, convertible pants to shorts, athletic wear. Or outdoor wear, not athletic. They were 99 cents. They're size medium, and these are women's. Pretty sure these are women's. Yeah. But it's 10 to 15 bucks I didn't have before. Right. I'm getting close. They got deep pockets. Can you see it? Deep pockets. Anyhow, there's 36 by 30. That's like a really common size for, for guys. That's how. That's the size my husband wore when he was big. So. Not big. It wasn't huge or nothing. Anyway, so I got those for 99 cents. And next, oh, I have one more thing from my Saturday buy. Anyway, and they're size 38 waist. That's pretty good. They're not stained or nothing. And they were they were only 99 cents. So I'll for sure make some money on those. The last thing I got, I told you guys, I knew that I still had another pair of shoes under that pile from uh, Saturday because Saturday was the 50% off day and they are these little kids, little crocs they're like jellies with the croc soles anyway they were $2.99 I got them for 50% off so I paid $1.49 for these and I'll be able to sell these for probably like 16 to 20 bucks that's what I think they're in pretty good condition they're barely worn like they're dirty on bottom, but they're not worn at all. So I know I can get a good amount for those. That's what I got, guys. That's what I got. So here at our Goodwill stores in South Texas, we do on every other Saturday, we have half off. Every Sunday is that week's tag color will be 99. The whole week that tag color is 50% off, but 99 cent day is way better. So I don't even shop during the week. I'm going to look for shoes. Like I'll get really high end stuff, regular price. I don't get, we are getting our a Goodwill outlet in Corpus Christi soon. I'm so excited. It's best, the best. Anyway, I'm really glad that I was able to take the time to this video. I'm going to for sure find my better camera for the next one, but Thank you guys for coming and watching. Thank you, my one viewer. I appreciate it. <laughs> Anyhow, I will do this again following next weekend and with a better camera. Y'all have a good day. I'll see y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe to me because this is my first video. So I should at least have one subscriber. It was my first haul video. Okay.